Today we just got the new crossbow case in, and this is a new case put out by Ten Point. And I have the Port and Storm. It's the reverse draw crossbow, so there's not a lot of cases out there that can uh, fit that kind of crossbow. So Ten Point came out with this one, and it's relatively new. It cost about 93 bucks. It took about three days to get here, but overall you can see that the case is pretty well. Um, it's not a hard case at all. It's uh, relatively soft in my opinion, but it's not a soft case. And they say that it's TSA approved, but I don't think I would put it on an airplane. Um, this is more for just keeping it safe or just so that it's not out on its own. So you can see on the back here that there's some rivets on the back, I guess, to keep it off the ground. Um, it's like it's not a hard case by any means, but it's not a soft case. It's somewhere in between. You can see that the foot jack up here for the crossbow actually sticks out, so you can act as like a carrying handle. There's a handle on the other side too. The way that this comes together is that there's zippers on the side. There's two sets of zippers. Come up here so you can see. There's a set of zippers on this side. And there's also a zipper on this side as well. So we'll open this up and then we'll show you how the inside is. So we have the case here. I just wanted to show you how to open it. There's a little Velcro up here by the handle. That comes off. And then the hin there's no hinges on this. It's just the zippers like what I was telling you about before. So there's a zipper there. And then there's a set space right here, and then there's another zipper that starts right there. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. So they give you a little bit of padding right here for um, the slide, right here where the arrow goes on your crossbow. This comes for the padding for the scope. And then you can put your quiver right here. For me, I didn't like that personally just because I don't think that there is enough room that you can put the quiver and the crossbow and it won't be sliding around. I don't think that that's a good space if that's where your string is. So that's just me personally because you know I don't want a broadhead ruining my string. So we'll continue over here. There's more padding down here underneath the cams and then um, you can put that in as well. There's a little Velcro right here that holds it in place. In the back here, underneath the stock, you can see that there's padding, and then there's another Velcro here to keep this in place. So there's only two slots in the actual case itself that holds the crossbow. And to close it, you just have to be mindful of where everything's at and not force it. Um, you can see here that there's a big gap right here, so you're going to have to push down just, just a little bit just so you can cinch it down to zip it. So I don't really like that in my opinion. Alright guys, so my overview of what I think that this case is, it's an okay case. It's not a powerhouse by any means. It's not the best case. I wouldn't take this on any kind of trip where it gets out of your sight or somebody else has to handle it. Um, hopefully Ten Point realizes this and comes out with an actual plastic hard case. Um, for $92, I don't think that this case is worth it, but again, it's better than it just sitting in my garage and having no case to it. And this is better than the soft case. So that's just my two cents on it. If you guys have any other feelings on it or you have this case, please let me know in the comments. So again, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, like it, and we'll catch you next time.